This is Dr. Patrick Hu, President and CEO of Moffitt Cancer Center and CITSI President. And we're here at the 37th Annual CITSI Meeting in Boston, Massachusetts. We have the privilege of being here with Dr. Nikhil Kushilani, a melanoma expert, internationally recognized. So thanks so much for being here with us today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me, Dr. So tell us what's exciting here in the melanoma world at CITSI this year. Well, I think one of the most important developments, and that uh, we're really proud to say was even presented by our own Dr. Mo Sarnayek from Moffitt uh, Cancer Center in Tampa, was the expanded cohort two and four of tumor infiltrating lymphocyte therapy in patients with advanced refractory melanoma. And essentially what this showed was that the uh, response rate to TIL therapy in patients who are refractory to previous anti-PD-1 therapy is almost 32%. And they combined this with our previous data from cohort two in the IOVANCE uh, seminal clinical trial, and then the subsequent follow-up to that. And the two cohorts now over 150 patients. So it's the largest cohort of fairly uniformly treated patients um, with refractory disease. And this is a high area of unmet need. The important thing was um, that toxicities are as anticipated, almost exclusively related to the lymphodepletion, which we would see anyway and patients are experiencing a durable response. But more importantly, we can actually discern at very early, at six weeks, um, if a patient has a response, those are the ones who are destined to do very well. So we're very pleased with those results and we hope eventually that that will lead to FDA regulatory approval sometime next year. Well, that's incredible because it's really challenging when a patient has refractory disease to in melanoma, in advanced melanoma, to immunotherapy, and if they're eligible targeted therapy, there's really nothing out there. So this this would be a, a really welcome approval if it comes Absolutely. through. Absolutely. I mean, in my mind, it would be a game changer. Now, admittedly, this is only for selected patients who have good functional status, good cardiac pulmonary status. So they certainly have to meet appropriate criteria. It's not for everyone. Uh, but I think it is sort of the next big development in melanoma because almost everything else that we have in the refractory setting has very modest efficacy and short duration of efficacy. Um, in addition to that, there are um, a lot of novel therapeutics being investigated here at SITSI, uh, particularly in early stage development. And I think that's where I learned a lot where you see some of the really cool um, sort of scientific cutting edge research that's being done. Um, the other thing that has taken great precedence here is uh, examining the gut microbiome and trying to understand how modulation of the gut microbiome may possibly overcome anti-PD-1 uh, PD resistance. Wonderful. Now at Moffa Cancer Center, we also have a very special alliance with Turnstone Biologics to do the next level till therapeutics. And that trial should be opening soon at Moffa, right? Absolutely. We're ready. We're almost at that uh, sort of starting line for that trial. We hope that that will open either sometime this month or at, at the latest by early next month. And we're certainly very excited about that, uh, very novel technology, um, something very unique, and we hope that more and more patients can benefit through that. Tell us why that is next level TIL. Well, I think it's uh, primarily, so TIL is, is um, in, in some ways, while we look at tumor infiltrating lymphocyte therapy, we're really trying to hone in on those lymphocytes that are unique to the tumor microenvironment. And the ones that unfortunately, because of the immunosuppressive nature in that tumor microenvironment, are just not being able to get engaged and therefore cause anti-tumor effect. As we specifically parse down, what are the specific neoantigens, um, the ones that are so unique to the cancer cell um, for a given patient, in some ways it's almost precision medicine at its best. Yeah. And that I think is very unique about the next generation of TIL trials, including the Turnstone trial that we will be participating in an opening soon. I see, from what I understand from this study, they're actually sequencing the Correct. DNA of the melanoma uh, selecting specific highly immunogenic peptides, Correct. pulsing them onto dendritic cells, and then using that to skew the population to really infuse much more specific and hopefully more effective T cells. Correct, and that is absolutely our hope. So we're really trying to hone in on the biology of resistance and certainly on the biology of what's unique to that particular cancer cell. And that trial for refractory melanoma patients is ready to go at Moffitt, right? Correct, absolutely correct. So we are almost uh, ready to, to open that study and open for business. And we have a very well-tuned uh, um, workflow for our patients with TIL, where they initially get evaluated within the cutaneous oncology department. And once we 
ascertain their eligibility, then we work in very close concert with our immune cellular therapy department that has great experience doing this along with other immune cellular therapy like bispecifics or CAR-T. So we have an entire um, group of very experienced individuals to take care of these patients in-house. And then when they're discharged, continue their immediate follow-up with the immune cellular therapy service and then come back to the cutaneous service. So it's almost a seamless flow back and forth. That's wonderful. And on that specialized cell therapy floor, we've treated about 1,000 patients so far, right? Well, we've treated a lot of patients. I don't know the exact number, but we've over the yeah. years, we've treated a lot of yeah. patients. And Moffitt was right at the forefront, particularly in the CAR-T revolution as well with immune cellular therapy. So we have a dedicated floor just for these patients um, and the, the nursing staff, social worker support, all of them are so in tune with what the needs of patients and their requirements are um, that there's no better place for any patient to get their treatment. Well, hopefully we can present data on this new TIL trial next year here at CITSI because I, at CITSI, if you look at all the 1500 abstracts, the largest category this year was cell therapy. And Moffitt Cancer Center has been at the forefront of cell therapy for decades. We took a bet on cell therapy over 10 years ago, didn't we? We did. We doubled down on it. And I think uh, over the years, if you look at the approvals that have come through melanoma and now other uh, solid tumor and hematologic malignancies, Moffitt's been involved in virtually every single registrational trial that has led to the approval of drugs in cutaneous cancers, not just melanoma. We now look at squamous cell carcinoma, Merkel cell carcinoma, um, basal cell carcinoma, and uh, certainly non-small cell lung cancer, where we, uh, Ben Freeland presented data um, and published data on uh, pill therapy in advanced non-small cell lung cancer as well. So absolutely, we have the experts there, and we want to take this to the next level um, and really come back with additional cutting edge science. Well, thank you for being here with us today. Uh, Dr. Nikhil Kushilani, expert in cutaneous oncology and melanoma at Moffitt Cancer Center.